and welcome back to Campus Buzz. It is now August and uh, we are only three weeks away from Getting Started Weekend. Um, we are so excited for you to join us on campus really soon and uh, to talk a little bit more about Getting Started Weekend and the logistics. Um, today we have Carly here as our special guest. She has worked tirelessly this summer getting uh, the weekend ready for you. Uh, so Carly, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm going to jump right in. Um, we have a series of questions. So first okay. of all, you all should know this, but what is Getting Started Weekend? Getting Started Weekend is the most exciting weekend of the entire school year. It's when all <laughs> it's of our really new students come. It's when all of our returning students just come back mm -hmm. to campus, move in, have some fun events, get to know each other, build friendships, and build community. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, again, I'm, I'm even looking forward to Getting Started Weekend. I'm a staff member. So um, something that's important to note is um, there is an app for the entire schedule on Guidebook. Um, can you explain a little bit more about the Guidebook Getting Started started app and what that is. Yeah, so Guidebook is the one-stop place for everything you need for getting started. It has the full schedule where you can customize your schedule. It has all the resources for your small groups, mm -hmm. um, different area resources. So if you forgot your toothbrush at home, <laughs> where's the closest Walmart or something nice. like that. Um, Essential. Essentials. <laughs> so just different things like that, things that will keep you organized and help you find your way around campus. Awesome, awesome. Um, can you talk a little bit more about what happens when students first get here, um, like going through the registration process? It's a number of people that have asked me questions about that. Yeah, so the registration process is, it's actually really exciting. Uh, that's where you get your room key, that's where you get your new student ID, uh, you pick up your class schedule. So you get to see your admissions counselor. You get to see your admissions counselor. <laughs> so there's just a lot of different steps that are all um, important to be able to become a full yellow jacket. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so there are, on the guidebook app, um, there are a number of sessions that are listed on the schedule. Um, are these required to go to? Can you share a little bit more about what those sessions are? Yeah, none of them are uh, necessarily required except for, of course, registration. You have to be able to get in your room. Good point. Um, <laughs> but other than that, they're all optional. They're all just created so that you can learn more about the Cedarville culture, Cedarville campus. Um, the only one that I would say you really need to go to is the Getting Started program, which is on Saturday gotcha. night. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, some students have asked me, is it okay to come on Saturday or Sunday instead of Friday? Uh, because the schedules for Saturday or Friday and Saturday look relatively the same. What would be your suggestion? Yeah, the schedules do look relatively the same. Um, and we do that for a reason for students who can't come in until Saturday. However, I encourage everyone to come in on Friday, that's when there's the most excitement. Um, that's also when we have our zip lines going. That's when we have our new student party. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more excitement on Friday. However, you can come Saturday, you can come Sunday, and we'll make sure that you're right at home. Awesome, awesome. Um, okay, so what are some of the things that uh, the new students will do in their small groups with their sting leaders? Yeah, small groups are so fun. They are your first connection to different people outside of your major, outside mm -hmm. of your hall. So it's just an ability to make new friends. So with your small group, you will go to that Getting Started program I talked about. Mm -hmm. You'll also be going to Jacket Fest, which is a huge part of Getting Started Weekend. And I know we're going to talk about yes, that. Yes, we are in a minute. <laughs> so um, yeah, just various different things throughout Getting Started Weekend. Your sting leader can be your mentor for or getting started weekend and even the week afterwards as you start classes, you can ask them, hey, what does Chucks mean? <laughs> or where is my class? So mm -hmm. they're here to help you. They'll be in contact with the new student soon. So we're really excited for the small groups. Awesome. And for those of you who don't know, Chucks is our dining hall. That's what we call it. So that's probably the first thing that students will need to know on campus is where's the food, right? True. <laughs> All right. Um, so you just mentioned the Jacket Fest. Can you explain what the Jacket Fest is? Um, I know I'm excited for it, and I want the students to be excited as well. Yeah. So as you know, Jacket Fest is is it's basically our new student party and we will have zip lines we'll have laser tag we'll have like giant bouncy not bouncy houses but just fun activities mm -hmm. um, SGA will be there 
to meet with everyone and we're all just super excited. Super fun activities. Uh, we're also having a new tradition start of Ooh. passing out Nellie's Ice Pops, which Let's are go. created by <laughs> a university alum uh -huh. and it is only for freshmen. So no one else on campus Man. can have this flavor. So I can't, right? No, no. <laughs> it's So even your admissions counselors can't have it. So it's really exciting. We're really excited to start that new tradition and mm -hmm. Um, just build class unity starting at Jacket Fest. Yeah, I really enjoyed Jacket Fest as a freshman and something that I liked that they did is um, they organize you by state. So if you're like from the New England states like me, uh, you'll go and you're able to meet um, new students that are also from your area. So it's just one more way that I got to meet some new people. Um, and I found I found out that there were a couple of other people from New Hampshire there. So uh, it was cool I got to connect and it made it a little bit easier to connect that way too. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm really excited for you guys to be a part of Jacket Fest. That would be another reason why I would encourage you to try and come on Friday. Absolutely. Even if you can only come in Friday night and you want to move in on Saturday, um, just try to make it happen because it is a really great way to connect with new students. Plus zip line. Yeah, plus zip lining. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, one more announcement. Don't forget to stop by the admissions table during the registration process. It's one of the last things that um, you'll do before you walk into your dorm. We really want to say hello to you as your admissions counselors. It's been a pleasure working with you this year. So please stop by and say hello to us. Um, but that's all we have for today. Carly, thank you so much for Thanks. joining with me and answering um, the students' questions. Um, and we'll see you next week. See you soon. Bye.